you and I. The greats. The great British eccentrics. Because the British eccentric, well, eccentricity is quintessentially uh, English quality. Hmm. And even if it's found in an Austrian or a Swede or an Italian, they still find their way to England and have done historically since the 1660s. We have... We it, created it, didn't we? Well, well five we, ladies did. We, we, five exquisite women of the 17th century. And, uh, of course, Marie de Medici, who lived here and created opera. She, well, she popularised opera by nurturing Perry and urging her daughter and son-in-law, Charles I, Henrietta Medici, her daughter, to build Covent Garden so that the people, the everyday people of Britain would have an Italian-style palazzo to walk around and hear great opera. Wow, I didn't know that. It's yes, fascinating. it is a wonderful thing that opera is, in fact, popularised by the Italian Marie de Medici but popularised here in Britain, the first opera was performed obscurely, seen by no one. But Marie de Medici asked Perry, this opera uh, composer, to compose an opera specifically for her wedding, where all the good and the great of Europe were assembled. And then she brought her with her out, him out to uh, Britain. And he got him to compose and perform. Like nobody's business. And we have the greatest operas in the world. We do the indeed. And we, every opera eccentric house. is by virtue British because all eccentrics have historically found their way here because they find acceptance and celebration of their it's eccentricity. It's a cultural hub of the world, isn't it? Well, we Her perhaps, yeah, we, it is a quintessential aspect of the British character, but we also, it was commodified here. We're character forming. <laughs> we are. <laughs> We're full of characters. <laughs> yes, that's what our parents would tell us when there'd be a very odd gentleman uh, or odd lady or drunk at a party. They're a character. Hmm. What's that man doing, it's Mummy? An <laughs> He's a character. <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs>